all you had to do was wake up the first time I told you, before they came down here and caught us. Now look at us. Well, at least I was smart enough to bring us a peanut butter or jelly sandwich to split and two bottles of water. What, might give us another hour of our life? You can have your half after the shock. What's going on, horror fanatics? Welcome to I Shot Him Six Times YouTube horror movie channel. As you know, I'm your host and creator of the channel, Marcus. If you have not done so already, please shoot this video a like. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm a ton. As well as if you happen to be a new viewer coming across this channel, please shoot that subscribe button as well as that notification icon so you get all the latest content updates to the channel. In this video, I will be discussing Saw X and the shot in the trailer of the bathroom trap scene where you can see someone's feet dangling in the air as well as someone standing in front of them but you cannot make out their face. However, you can see that they are wearing a long black coat and cold black shoes that seem to have a tan trimming on the side. So initially, I thought this could be Dr. Gordon, and I know that some believe it could also be Detective Mark Hoffman based on the attire. So I went back and saw five and final chapter to compare their coats and shoes to not only each other, but as well as to this person that we see in this shot of the trailer. As you can see, Gordon seems to be wearing black shoes with black trimming, maybe a type of work shoe, but I won't blame you if you label them as a form of dress shoes either. Hoffman is wearing black dress shoes, as it fits the character, being he wore a suit in the majority of the films. Neither, in my opinion, are the person that we see in the shot of the bathroom in the trailer. As I said before, that person's shoes seem to have a tannish type of trim on the side of the shoe. Gordon nor Hoffman's shoes have that. We now take a look at both men's coats. Both are wearing thick black coats in Saw 5 and Saw 7 respectively. However, Hoffman's is longer than Gordon's, and one would assume given the length of the coat that this is indeed Hoffman in that bathroom shot scene that we got in the trailer. However, if you look at Hoffman's coat, it paces to him. It doesn't dangle off of the back like you see the person's coat in the bathroom shot does, meaning once again, this most likely is not Detective Hoffman, and Gordon's coat is too short for it to be him as well. So that leads me to this. Before we got the trailer released, we got this video of Tobin Bell standing in the bathroom trap, announcing Amanda Young is back. However, what's even more important when you look at this shot is that he is wearing a thin long black coat that the bottom dangles off of the back, as well as coal black shoes very similar to the attire seen worn by the person in the bathroom shot of the trailer. Now, I will quickly say this. I know earlier I had said that those shoes that that person is wearing in that bathroom seem to have a thin tan trim on the sides. However, at the further inspection, it does not look like that. It looks like it just could possibly be reflection from the lighting of sorts or something like that. There is no tan on the trimming of those shoes. And as you can see here, if you look real closely, Tobin Bell's shoes doesn't have tan trimming either. And his material of shoes looks very soft, which is different from the type of shoes that we've seen worn by both Hoffman and Gordon, which leads me to believe with all that being said, that I believe that this is going to be John Kramer, who is standing in front of this person dangling in the air in that shot from the bathroom trap that we see in the trailer. I also want to talk about this dead body that I have pointed out here from the Saw X trailer from the bathroom shot scene. Now, in the original Saw, Zep Pendle was left in that bathroom as well as Adam after Adam had killed him. However, his body, or I should say his feet, wasn't that close to the wall. This dead person that we see in Saw X seems to be placed very close to the wall to the point that their feet are touching the wall. Now, they could have moved Zep's body in Saw X and placed it in this way, and most likely that's what's going on here. However, another thing that I took notice of is that this person seems to be wearing light-colored pants. Zep wore dark blue or black pants that had dirt all over them. Could this be someone entirely new that is placed in the bathroom, given the positioning of the body and the color of the pants? I think it's definitely possible, and it's going to be interesting to see if that turns out to be true. 
But okay, everyone, that's it for this video. Leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts on what I touched on here in the video. Are you in agreement with me that subsequently we will get revealed that that is John Kramer, who is the one that is in that bathroom scene shot that we got from the trailer? As well as let me know what you guys think about the possibility of there being a brand new victim in the bathroom. Once again, this is our Shadow Six Times YouTube Horror Movie Channel. I'm your host and creator of the channel, Marcus. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon. Thank you all for watching.